Hey there, my name is Sean and I'm going to be guiding you through today's magazine. Our first video is by Philip and Kenny. It's a commercial for our latest GTV shirts. What? What's a shirt? Shirt? GTV shirt? Fifty bucks? Oh my goodness. Fifteen dollars? It's a nice new shirt. Really? Really nice shirt. How much? Fifteen dollars. That seems really cheap. Sounds awesome. What? Oh, that's okay. This one's on the house. Just tell your friends. Tell your friends. Thank you. Our next video is a movie review by me and Parker. This is Detective Alex Murphy and Officer Down. We are on the eve of a technological revolution. We need to give Americans a figure they can rally behind. Ah, RoboCop. The first in a long line of Hollywood remakes to not actually be bad. The plot follows this guy named Alex Murphy, a cop who actually gets, so uh, you know, blown up, and then put inside of a robotic suit, and now he fights crime. The movie has a handful of pretty decent action sequences, good special effects, and a surprising amount of emotional depth that comes from RoboCop's family in the movie. A surprising choice that was made in the film was to give RoboCop's character more humanity, which is certainly a plus in this film. In a world where Hollywood remakes are generally frowned upon or viewed as bad films, RoboCop fares surprisingly well in the world of cinema. I give it 7 out of 10. I also give RoboCop a 7 out of 10. And now for a behind the scenes look in our GTV studio. GTV is an essential part of the mornings here at Gaither High School. We took a behind the scenes look with the crew to get a better sense of how things get done and what kind of teamwork it takes to produce a new show in the mornings. One of the more familiar faces you might notice from the GTV crew is Cesar Rodriguez, an anchor. We took an interview with him to see what it's like. Being an anchor really helps with uh, helps practice with like public speaking and you know it's just good practice that way you know in the case that you do have to give a speech in front of your class or something you're not like you know your mouth doesn't get all dry and you're just like I'm scared and I don't want to do public speaking <laughs> and I guess it just makes you more comfortable giving a presentation. Two of the more underappreciated jobs in the news studio are the audio board mixer and the TriCaster. We took interviews with both to see what it's like under these high stress jobs. Uh, it's the backbone to the news show. If without this you can't hear what the people are saying and trying to announce to the school. Well, TriCaster changes the slides and plays videos and music so all the titles that you need because sometimes people say things out loud but you can't like always hear them so if you have the titles up people can read them and like write it down and so we switch that no one feels pressure in the mornings quite like the director we sat down with one to see what it's like um, directing the news is extremely high pressure because you have a very tight timeline and you have a lot of people under you that are ultimately responsible for the final production of the show. So if you mess up, they mess up, um, and then the show is not the production level that you wanted it. As you can see, GTV is more than just a news show. It's one big family. No one job is more important than the other. And when everyone does what they're supposed to do, it's no wonder that we've placed first the past two years. I'm Stan Burke. Now back to you. Now it's time for a Would You Rather video with Camilla. Would you rather find true love or ten million dollars? Ten million dollars. Okay. Well, me, you no, know, I like to find ten million dollars, you know, because with ten million dollars. I got ten million dollars and still find a true love. That just me. I guess true love would be what I would choose. Uh, I don't think I'll ever find true love, so I'll just, I'm just gonna go with ten million dollars. Probably true love. 
11 million dollars. I'll take 5 million in true love. So, would you rather have hiccups for the rest of your life or feel like you need to sneeze but not be able to for the rest of your life? I feel like I need to sneeze. Hiccups, for sure. I feel like you need to sneeze. Hiccups, no question. Ever wondered what it would be like if a base cannon went off in Gaither High School? You're about to find out. And now for our final video, Awkward Point of Views. <laughs> Sabrina, what's the answer? Let's go. What's the answer? Hello? What's the answer today?